All right, well, I'm gonna take advantage. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, I get to take advantage of the fact that you guys had a very quick exit in the first round to sit down and talk with you. I, mean, I have I, not played a faster match than that game of a four-player commander. That was a ridiculous and brutal. <laughs> you guys, what do they give you? Two and a half hours a person to complete yes, that match? And we were done in 15 minutes total. That's that's pretty sweet. <laughs> I, I would consider that a fantastic game of magic. It was great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, guys, um, this is less about the commander format than just how everything's been going for you. So, yeah, I mean, have you guys enjoyed? We, we, we are, what, halfway through Thursday? We're about halfway through all of the competition and all the fun stuff you got to do? Yeah. Uh, have you guys been enjoying yourself thus far? Oh, it was, it's amazing. I mean, uh, it just, it's better than I thought it would be. And I already thought it would be uh, really, really good. Uh, the Wizards guys are uh, doing a great job, and I think we all have a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, enjoying my time here a lot. All right. Whatever I thought about Wizards is completely true, and even more, like, I have not met like, a bad person. Everyone is just amazing, like, not even just people that are showing us around. Yeah. I just walk through the halls or, like, meet someone downstairs, and they're just awesome and so much fun, and, like, the competition is a lot uh, cooler than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know what to expect, but it's a lot better than that, and uh, it was it was worth the trip. I uh, I was excited when I uh, heard about it, and anyone that gets a chance to do this, it's just it's a once in a lifetime for anyone that loves this game. So awesome! It's wonderful. Well, guys, what's what's your favorite thing that you've been able to do so far during this trip? What's the best thing I've been able to do? Yeah, like the, like the thing that you have enjoyed the most since you got here. Well, I, I think uh, for me it's basically meeting all the people. Um, not only the people from Wizards of the Coast. Uh, I mean, they are amazing, but also all the community members um, that I only knew uh, through the chat window in the MTGO client. Mm -hmm. um, so everyone is really great and we have a lot of fun. and. Uh, yeah, uh, so it, for me it's basically the networking and then meeting the people and talking to the people. That's probably the thing I enjoy most here. Alright, how about you, Brad? Singing Spice Girls with Zach Hill and Lee Sharp. <laughs> Not even close. Well, I hear we're going out to do that I again know, tonight. I wait to right. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, we're going to try to get Seti Bear with us. And oh, is he out here already? Yeah, he's here. Oh, my goodness. This I is... hope somebody has his phone number. I do. It's, he's in my phone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we got to give him a call. Oh. He seems like a ride. More people coming out, it's going to be a blast. Oh, man. This is going to be a good evening, yeah. to say the yeah. least. It's been a good week. Yeah. It's just been a ridiculous week. So. Speaking of Cedric, um, well, um, want everybody who's watching this, uh, you guys have filled out your profile so everybody knows who you are. So, but I'd like to, I mean, to talk a little bit more about you know what's brought you guys here, like why, what, what it is that has gotten you in, involved in this, and like what you do in the world of magic. Like Brad, I mean, you know, you talked about Cedric Phillips and all these other guys. These guys are these guys are magic pros, and you know them because well. I mean, if you haven't watched the coverage at all for the past couple of weeks, Brad just top baited San Pro Tour San Juan, and then the week just before that, he won the entire Grand Prix and Grand Prix uh, Washington DC. He's been a pretty big player, and it, it's strange because you come from a place that is not generally considered a real hotbed of uh, Magic talent, and you're tearing it up right now. So yeah, I'm the only uh, North Dakotan besides my brother uh, to play on the Pro Tour, and he. Uh, hasn't had as much success, but we're, we're about it up there, and uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Like, I guess you can look at it like I don't really have much to do in North Dakota, <laughs> so Moto's my life. Like, even when I'm bored of Moto, I, like, turn around and then turn right back around and play some more Moto. Yeah. So, uh, that's probably the reason I got there. So, I mean, uh, that works out perfectly. That probably is a good reason about why they invited you here because it, Magic Online has been very important to, you know, forming your skill set and to be becoming, you know, the high-level professional player that you are. Yeah, and, and I try to reflect that in my articles. Like, most of my articles uh, that aren't centered around specific real-life events mm -hmm. are usually about Magic Online comp competing. I really, uh, I, I didn't know when I started writing what my niche was supposed to be, like what I want to talk about, and I decided to just talk about my experiences and I love Magic Online and I try to help anyone who really wants to break into Magic Online or get better at 
real life magic and try to break onto the pro tour through that yeah. that program. Uh, that's exactly what I want to talk about. Well, what do you think are some of the strongest? facets of Magic Online to helping players get better and achieve the next level? It's constructive. Uh, you can play a lot of limited online, but it's frustrating and it's swingy. I think uh, there's more constructive. To get to the pro, pro level, you have to play more constructive because no matter what, you can play in a limited PTQ, but that Pro Tour is going to be constructive. Right. So if you want to stay on the Pro Tour, you have to get good at constructive. And Magic Online is just great for that. There's queues always firing. There's high level competition. The average constructed magic player online is just really, really good. And so you're going to play high level competition all the time and you're just solely going to get better at the game just because of who you're playing against. I, I think that's the main reason why I got good at this game and why I'm excelling is because I like to play a lot of constructed. Nice. I mean, speaking of getting better at the game and like intros to players, um, Marin, you run Magic or MTGOacademy.com, right? Which is, is geared a lot primarily at helping newer players get acclimated to Magic Online. And uh, there's a lot of focus also on Magic Online specific formats, right? Correct, correct. We uh, do a lot of content for uh, viewers. So people that are just starting out with uh, Magic Online and are not sure what to do, where to start, um, you will find a lot of tutorials and beginner videos on the site. But uh, we are also doing a lot of more advanced stuff, uh, specific formats that you will find online, like Commander. Um, we do draft uh, walkthroughs and basically uh, trying to uh, to address the issues uh, that a casual player has uh, when he's starting out and uh, just have a fun and wild and fun content for, for people that are not top level uh, necessarily. Um, and yeah, we, we, have, uh, uh, we have a lot of users and visitors and uh, it's, it's fun. Nice. Uh, I really like to do it. Good. I really, I uh, never knew about your site that much, but uh, since here I looked, looked at some of your videos and I was like, yeah, it's really good content. I really like it. Yeah, it's it's a different level, like you, because you write for Channel Fireball, right, Brad? Like, and most of the Channel Fireball articles, like while there are the occasional, like, uh, like, Paolo and uh, let's see, uh, who was the other person who put one up? Uh, there, there were a series of articles recently about like the art of mulligan, uh, the, the art of mulligans that were put up, and uh, like that's something that's a concept that applies to players of all levels. But it was approached in such a manner like it, it's primarily geared for players who are at the PTQ level and looking to go forward. Whereas Marin, your site here appears to be more aimed at players who are you know intro, trying to transition, like the kind of guys who like Friday Night Magic is a regular thing for them, but they're not quite ready to jump up to that next level yet. We, I mean, I'm aware of uh, most of the good content sites, obviously, um, that are out there. And we are not really trying to compete with... Uh, we cannot compete uh, with Channel Firewall in terms of, you know, pro content, and we don't want to. Yeah. Uh, we are just aiming to, to get people online, and then, you know, if, if they feel like they are ready for the next level, they can watch Brand uh, Drafting yeah. on, on Channel Fireball. Uh, they can stay with us if they want to play casual or play magic. Yeah. Or do both. I mean, uh, I think you know. I I'm uh, mainly a casual player, even though I'm playing for a long time. But you know, I enjoy both types of content. So I think it's uh, it's nice to have more out there. So you have a choice and watch whatever you like. I want to say one thing. Though. Please do. I am a very competitive player. But a couple nights ago, I mean, this is just a plug for Watsi. Yeah. Uh, but. They are coming out with uh, what's that? Arch, Arch, Arch enemy. enemy. <laughs> I did not think I was gonna like that. And three turns in of me being the arch enemy, I, I forgot about any other type of magic. I was just so in the moment. The game is ridiculously fun at all levels. You can play competitively, you can play casually. I hope you play casually, but just be evil when you're the arch enemy. That's that's my suggestion. It's so much fun, and it's worth giving it a shot. It's coming out next Friday. Uh, I don't know the exact date, uh, but um, it's just a world of fun. Like, yeah. I, I'm getting reconnected with my casual player who will be here this week because it's so much fun. Like, yeah. it's, it's just great. I mean, I, I, yeah, you, you beat the daylights. I was one of the, th like, what, we have four players trying to beat I mean, you? I was playing the 
the blue white. The control that I won Grand Prix DC with. Like, yeah. That's not a really fair deck. But, no, but you know, at the same time, it's it's proven that you know you are of arch enemy caliber. So yeah, and you know, he also you guys might get a chance to hear this at some point. He has quite a ridiculous evil bad guy laugh. So uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Well, um, guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me. Uh, looks like the rest of the matches are starting to finish up now. Uh, it looked to me like the other two matches had it slated so that you guys were going to be evening it up, yeah. And we're so far ahead, if we can do one more even up here, they have no chance of beating us tomorrow. Correct. Yeah, I mean, it definitely seems like you're in your element in the standard format. Then definitely have access to some good technology, so... <laughs> Alright, well guys, you good... You might even find some real technology tomorrow, I'm not even lying about it. Ho, ho, ho. I might be next leveling the Community Cup Challenge. Guys, you should definitely tune in for something like that because it is going to be a hoot watching these guys lay the smack down on the evil empire that is with the coast. Alright, back to back. We'll be back in a bit.